What's going on, everybody? So I made a mistake the other day. I did a summoning competition with Kyre. And when I summoned the um, legendary, what ended up happening was I calculated it as an epic. Um, and then I knew I was missing a legendary. So I ended up basically I fat figured the epic and then boom, extra 10 points, which put me over in the winning category. So we should have tied. And what I was going to suggest to Kyre um, is if we tied, then we both go ahead and pick each other's exclusive. But what I'm going to go ahead and do it here is make it even worse for myself because I didn't make that mistake. So I'm going to let you all pick my exclusive, my next legendary exclusive. Now, I don't quite have one yet. Um, I don't have a dragon eye yet. And uh, so that is something to consider. But I do have, if we just go ahead and just check out the exclusive, I have eight phantom dragon eyes here for the epic ones so i'm very close to one so whatever you guys decide i will go ahead and do i will leave a link to the poll um in the description down below uh for whoever you know you guys suggest uh once you guys suggest a, f a, q a few in the comment section down below so here's my characters right here again we're doing a legendary so i want you guys to suggest a certain character that I'm going to be dropping an exclusive on in the comment section. And then based on the responses I see in the comment section, I will go ahead and put together a poll in which we can vote on potentially the top four characters that were suggested. So um, obviously the options are Sigmund, Gunner, Melia, Pisania. Um, obviously we have to go for the other exclusive we have. So it's like Sigmund E2, Gunner E1, Melia E3, Pisania E3. We have Zia E1, Yoko E1, Hoth E1, Space E1, or we could do one of these characters down here like Sintin, um, Ariel, Margarita, Lamb, Alahan, Carrie, Zach Zulu, Bari, which is the one I suggest for Kyra, and it seems to be pretty good. Um, Zyra, Slacto, Mutu even, Vera, Sana, we have May, Tifia, which could be an interesting one, Gustav, Taf, Sakma, Turf, or Natalie. Those are my legendaries here, guys. I'm all, it's going to have to be in a legendary Dragon Eye. Um, you know, if it's an epic one, it's not even near the same uh, caliber of resource investment. But um, hopefully this gives you guys basically a couple of options to choose from. And uh, that's my way of saying my bad or messing up that. Uh, but, you know, I ended up uh, making it worse for myself anyways because I did that. So that's what's, uh, what's going to happen. Be sure to drop your comments in the comment section down below, and I will be reading through them and letting uh, you all know what my, the top four are from the comment section, at least the ones that I see, the ones that get the most likes. So if you guys see one that you, you know, oh, I really want to see him carry E1, then, uh, then be sure to like that comment. And uh, I will note uh, that in the poll, you know, how many likes they, they got and everything like that. So that's what I'll be doing over the next couple of days. Um, it probably will take me a couple of days because I want the poll to, you know, basically be something that uh, that is a couple of days long, gets a lot of feedback and, and, and votes for everyone that's uh, playing the game. I'm hoping for at least like 100, 200 votes uh, from everyone because although we have a small community, hopefully you guys will uh, will participate in torturing me or, you know, benefiting me, whatever um, ends up happening. So I just want to mention that really quickly here at the beginning of the video. I apologize for messing that up. Uh, I'm glad that it was just that I messed up that part because if I had messed up two parts and, and Kyra would have won, that would have been sad. But, you know, tying, I'm not too upset about it because I would have suggested that we both pick each other's because we tied um so we both kind of lose there so you know this is like the next worst thing <laughs> uh but i appreciate you guys calling me out on that um i responded with a little set, slanted sad face because i was like oh dang my bad i messed up um but hopefully we have some more of those videos uh in the future because it was pretty fun but I want to give you guys just uh, what I'm going to be doing here in the next couple of days. I'm approaching my Ben Austin uh, first exclusive. I've been thinking um, whether or not to go for Lucia or uh, Ben Austin, like finish off Lucia or even go for Lucifer, because I feel like if I go for Lucifer, I could potentially get E1 Lucifer and go for Gwyneth and change up the strategies completely, right? Like go something completely different than normally what I would have done. And uh, I thought about that, but... But um, the tricky part about that is that I would need 100 shards and then another 50 shards to get the exclusive one for me to really start using them in that Gwyneth area. And that's a lot of investment. Whereas, 
you know, I could just use 150 shards and immediately get Banas to E3 and then hopefully improve my guild boss run. And uh, I think that's going to be a better payout in the end, which is why I'm going to start going for that. Other than that, I'm actually really interested in pushing the blue mark tower. I actually went ahead and manual a couple of green floor here up to floor 22. I don't think I can do floor 23 because I happen to have an awakened five space. No skill ups, by the way. I'm really low on legendary scrolls. And so I'm trying to figure out who I want to level up for blue mark. And uh, I settled on Maya because I believe Maya is going to be the one of the best healers that I have. And then I have to figure out who I want to go for to kind of pair with these two. I thought about pairing with them with Natalie. Um, that could be an interesting option. Even Turf could be. Margarita, obviously. Misakma is going to be my shield remover. So if I want to go up to stage 24, I'm going to have to build an Asakma um, or a Norma, but probably get a building, uh, build an Asakma. But I only need eight stars. Eight stars! So really what needs to happen is I literally just need to beat one more floor. And then I need another damage dealer to help me out on these floors because these floors took a little bit longer. And so I just need another damage dealer, basically. And I can beat 421, that's six, that's three, plus these three, which is another three. Then I need two more stars, so I just need to get two stars out of floor 22. And I think that's very, very doable with an Awakened 5 Maya, um, with potentially some more exclusives, and an Awakened 5 other character. I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards Natalie, as I mentioned, or Turf. These two are probably my top priorities, but I'm curious what you guys think um, for Blue Mark Tower. I would really like to get exclusive three Catherine. That is something that I've kind of been stalling on. And I've been focusing super hard on Red Mark Tower, which, by the way, is way, way worth it because, guys, I mean, now with Hoff, I mean, I have Lucaea, Catherine, Sigmund, Hoff, Wim, Reeves. Like, I mean, so much benefit from focusing Red Mark Tower. Um, so I don't regret that at all. But as soon as I max out the speed, I'm going to go ahead and transition over my red mark into um, effect hit. And then as soon as I cap out the effect hit, I'm going to stop doing red mark and then move into probably green mark um, or blue mark potentially and start getting these speed numbers up here. Uh, I would like to do probably green mark because I do have Hisanya and Ben Austin and I also have space. So if I get the speed amping for space, I can guarantee the first turn even more so. Um, and you can see she's at 2237 speed without even close to as much speed out of the marks as someone like Catherine. You can see here, this is like 30 speed. When you get it up to uh, 30, uh, it's gonna be about 90 speed. So Catherine essentially has around 110 speed on um, space just from the mark. So she's at two, uh, 2,300 and space is at 2,237. So if I got the 110 speed, I would be 47 speed higher than um, Catherine, which is super, super useful. I actually don't remember what aura she has on her. She has not even the speed aura. She doesn't even have the speed aura on her. So she would actually, if I had that speed aura, she'd be, uh, what is that? 77 speed above Catherine, which is pretty big. But Anyways, guys, I'm rambling a little bit. I just wanted to go over some of my plans for the future. Maybe that will help you guys determine what um, exclusive I wanted to go for uh, personally, you know, and uh, I probably would never have gone for like, for example, if I wanted to go for Nisakma or Natalie or Turf, I probably would never have gone for like Turf's exclusive here or Natalie's exclusive here. I, I probably would not have gone for that. But if you guys want to help me out and do something that I would never have gone for um, and, you know, cons and basically force my hand going for that blue mark, then, you know, you can choose that. Or you could just choose something that you guys want to see. For example, like E1 Zia, that would, you know, push me over because I would like to get E2 Zia. Um, those are the ones I want. Obviously, I don't want like E1 Space, E1 Hoff. Um, I don't want like E1 Gunner. So you guys could choose a terrible option as well. So I'm very curious to hear what your opinions are, um, you know, Consider this a my repent, uh, my repentance for anyone that uh, that noticed that. Again, you could punish me for it, or you could do something that uh, you know either is fun, or you could just do something that I normally would not have done, or you could just do something that uh, that's just really good. Like for example, Melia E3 is pretty good. So I'll leave it in your capable hands, and I'm very nervous. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you all tomorrow.